G'day, I'm Dan from BikeBiz, and today I'm gonna to do a bit of a review for you on the AGB K3 SV helmet. Just a few quick notes on AGV as a brand. In 2017, uh, marked their 70th year of making helmets. These guys have been at it for a very long time and they know what they're doing. Uh, obviously, most of their research and development goes into Valentino Rossi, all the MotoGP guys that are wearing their helmet on the track. They take that data, they put it towards a really good road helmet. This sits in the higher end of the entry level spectrum of the helmets. Um, you could use this anywhere on any bike. Obviously, it's got a pretty sharp look to it, so it'd look, you know, at home on a, on a sport bike, but there's no reason why you can't wear it on a cruiser, a scooter, a naked. Uh, it's very, very versatile. Starting with the outer shell of this uh, K3 SV, it is constructed of a high-resistant thermoplastic resin. Uh, they've made this shell in two different sizes. We've got four density EPS lining, or expanded polystyrene lining, uh, on the inside here. This determines the size of the, the helmet and which size is going to be the right one for your head. Uh, EPS lining is basically the material that's between your head and the outer shell. This is there to compress on impact and absorb any, uh, any impact there to keep you safe. On the uh, outside of the shell here, you can see all the ventilation we've got going on. There are five intake ports on this helmet, so it's going to rush a heap of air. Uh, up here, you've got two major ones at the top. That's going to flow the air over the top of your head. Around the back of the helmet there, we've got a large exhaust port. This is going to draw the hot air out of your helmet as the cold air comes in. We've also got a large one in the front. Uh, in addition to all that venting that's going on, we've got what they call the micro system for the visor. Uh, this is going to crack the seal, allow that air, extra air in through the front of the helmet whilst maintaining all the vision uh, and protection that you need. With an easy to find simple push of the button, that'll work perfectly. Uh, in the front of the helmet here, you can see that we've got no buttons, no levers, nothing to catch the wind or, or create any wind noise. The operation of the uh, front vent through the top is through a button on the inside. Super easy to find with your gloves on and just maintains that sharp look on the helmet. Moving on to the visor, this one here is anti-scratch. Uh, we've got the pin lock pins included. So they actually put these in the visor for you. It doesn't come with the pin lock, so if you want to make this anti-fog, you will have to purchase that one separately. Uh, so just to quickly show you what the pin lock is. So here we've got a, uh, a plastic insert that goes on the inside of your visor. Uh, this creates a layer of air between this and the visor, especially on a colder day when you're breathing into the helmet. It just keeps the whole thing anti-fog. Um, it happens mainly a lot with rain as well. Obviously you want to keep your visor open to stop it from fogging, but you're going to get pelted by the rain. So this is an awesome addition that we do recommend you grab with the K3 SV. When you do grab the pin lock, make sure that you do get the correct one for the visor for this helmet because they do make different shapes, different sizes, and not all of them fit each helmet. So um, when you're looking at that, get the one for the K3 SV. Uh, while we've got the visor up, the one of the coolest features that I think in the K3 SV is the sun visor feature. Now SV standing for sun visor. Uh, you've got a red lever on the side of the helmet here, nice and easy to operate up and down. Means basically that if you're riding day and night or you're riding to work or school in, in the morning but coming home at night time, you don't have to carry a sun protected visor with you. It's built into the helmet. On the inside of this helmet we've got uh, the lining made out of a dry comfort material. That means it's gonna um, wick away any moisture that's going on the helmet. If you're riding on a hot day, you're starting to sweat, it'll actually dry the helmet out so you're not putting a wet helmet on all the time. Uh, these are all removable and washable, very easy to do so. You've got a couple of Velcro tabs and some press stud tabs. Uh, you can wash these in a machine, just put it on a very light wash. Uh, you can see here we've also got the breath guard, that's removable. Now that would just direct any extra venting towards you. Uh, and also if you're breathing heavily without that pin lock insert, it kind of keeps the breath off the visor. Um, and then we've also got the inclusion of the chin curtain as well. Now this is mainly a feature there to stop the cold air in winter coming up under the helmet. Um, you can sort of close that off a bit more and, and get a bit more um, security in the helmet. Um, this is also fully removable, just pulls straight out. While I've got the helmet up like this, I'm just gonna show you the retention system. So we've got a very simple, easy to use ratchet system here. Push it in, pull the red tab, open it up and away you go. Just on a quick note, please make sure if you buy this online that you do adjust this to its correct tension so the helmet fits you nice and tight. We don't want anyone out there with a loose fitting helmet. Just while we're here as well, I'll show you where the standards are on the helmets now. Um, you no longer need the red sticker on the back of the helmet. Uh, in 2016 they changed the helmet laws in Australia. You are now legally allowed to wear a European standard helmet, which they call ECE. And what you want to look for on the helmet is a white tab on your chin strap. It'll have an E with a number and a circle around it, notifies that it is legal to use in Australia. 
Along with the visor, one of the coolest features they've got is the extra uh, quick release system. Uh, to remove your visor, if you want to take this off for cleaning, you've got this red tab here, pull this down. You can see that's just popped and released the visor and away it goes. To put it back in, find it easier to put on the side here. Make sure you've got something soft underneath it if you're going to do this at home. Pull that back down, snap it into place. Very simple. When you do clean the visor, um, we recommend that you don't use anything like a Windex or a, a chemical. There's a UV coating on here as well. You will remove that if you use anything too harsh. So soapy water is the best idea. Let's pop this on and see how it fits. Well, the first thing I can talk about is actually how easy that retention system is. As you can see, there was no feeding, no fumbling, especially with gloves on. That'd be, just be so much easier. There's some really good vision in this helmet. Um, what I'm noticing is some really good peripheral vision. I can't see the edge of the helmet, which is telling me that I've got as wide as I can see. Uh, and the lateral vision is quite good as well. It's light, even though it's a, a plastic shell, it's a light helmet. Uh, I've got good pressure around my face. It's hugging me around the jaw, which is obviously there to aid me in, in, it, in it not coming off. It's really comfortable. So what we're looking for is a obviously tight pressure around the face. Bear in mind, all this is gonna change as you wear the helmet in, it's gonna to mold to your head shape. So you need it as tight as comfortably possible. I can definitely feel that firm. I'm biting my cheeks, which is where we wanna be. I like it. And then just moving on to the internal visor. Very easy. It actually comes down quite far as well, which is a good, good thing with the internal visor. There's no sort of half line there. I can see right through it. There is a sticker on the outside of here. Make sure you take that off before you go for a ride because it does distort the vision a little bit. That's a really cool feature. This is available from extra small to double extra large. And one thing that's actually quite unique to AGV, they do two different size mediums, a medium small and a medium large. That's to make sure that you get the absolutely perfect fit if you are that medium, which that's the most popular size in the world, is, is a size medium, which is generally 57 to 58 centimeters. These guys do a medium small 57, medium large 58. And it is unique to AGV. The K3SV is available in a wide range of colors. The one in front of me here is really, really bright, get you set on the road, uh, but you can get everything from a plain matte black all the way up to a replica GP colored helmet. Um, as I said, lots and lots to choose from, so go and check them all out. That You're bound to find something that you like. Just to give you a quick recap on the AGV K3SV, we've got a thermoplastic shell, 1.4 kilos. We've got the integrated ventilation system, so it's all built into the helmet. We've got the pinlock ready external visor. We've got the inclusion of the really cool sun visor, making this a really good day or night or all year round type of helmet. We've got your dry comfort lining, which is all washable, removable. AGV as a brand, as I said, just make a wicked product. All their research, research and development goes into a good quality thing. If you're looking for your first, second, third, fourth, fifth helmet, this is one you have to look at. You can view the range at our BikeBiz stores or online at bikebiz.com.au.